It's a fact that cars grow in size with each successive generation. The original BMW 3 Series, for instance, was a truly compact sedan when it was first launched. These days, of course, it's knocking on the 5 Series door. The latest 5 Series, for that matter, is almost the size of the 7, and the new 7, which is due in 2015, will be one of the largest sedans BMW has ever built. Which brings us to the brand new 2 Series. Now, the 2 Series might have only two doors, but for now, it is the most compact three-box shaped car in the BMW lineup. And for that reason, it's also one of the most attractive. The 220i under scrutiny here is the junior member of the new 2 Series. It might not have the visual muscle of the range-topping 235i, but it's an appealing machine with a sense of aesthetic cohesion that turns heads. BMW has changed the naming convention for its cars, which means that what used to be a 3 Series coupe is now badged the 4 Series. Similarly, what used to be a 1 Series coupe has now become the 2 Series. Like the previous One Series Coupe, this car combines two doors and a sporty personality with a large boot. But the big difference between this car and the One Series Coupe of before is the front end, which is a lot, lot prettier. The bonnet's curve and the rounded roofline further emphasize the car's streamlined profile. The new coupe's shoulder line extends from the front wheel arch all the way to the rear taillight cluster, finally embracing the short rear deck of the boot lid in a way that adds coherence to the overall design. Scalloped flanks emphasize the two's athletic stance and create visual muscle around the rear haunches. In short, this is a handsome car that links dynamic promise and elegant design in an eye-pleasing package. The cabin is also unmistakably BMW. The interior design of a car has become as much a part of the brand personality as the exterior styling and so it comes as no surprise that this interior is very much Bavarian. Of course this is the sport model so it gets these very nicely bolstered and very comfortable bucket seats. Um, it also has a nice big color display which makes the interface with the iDrive system so much easier and because this is a new generation of car the steering wheel is brand new and much better than the previous models as well. Standard equipment levels are generous but not full house. Keyless start, remote central locking, electric windows and mirrors, audio with Bluetooth, USB and auxiliary interfaces and a trip computer are all included but leather costs extra as does cruise control. The boot is a useful 390 litres. There's been no skimping on safety levels though and the drivetrain is more willing and able than expected. The 220i is the entry-level model of the 2 Series and it's powered by a 2-litre turbo petrol engine good for 135 kilowatt of maximum power and 270 newton metres of torque. For those who prefer diesel, there is also a turbo diesel with the same power output but more torque. And then if you're really looking for performance, a 240 kilowatt straight-six turbocharged engine as well. Of course, much of the 2 Series thunder has been stolen by that range-topping 240 kilowatt 235i, but in pure dynamic terms, the 220i is a lot more engaging than you'd expect. The 220i might be the entry-level model in the 2 Series, but because of BMW's sporting DNA, there's a certain level of athletic expectation and this car doesn't disappoint it's a lot of fun to drive and in fact it's about as much fun to drive as you want it to be in normal mode it's quite smooth and sophisticated not really all that exciting and you can let the gearbox do its own thing but switch from normal to sport mode and everything changes the steering gets a bit more heft the throttle response is crisper and the entire feeling of the car is certainly sportier it's then the kind of car you'd expect it to be and in fact from my point of view sport mode should be the default However, the stopwatch proves that the 220i isn't as quick as it feels in outright terms. As much as the 220i has sporty responses, it's not that quick in a straight line. The 0 200 times 7 seconds dead, the top speed 230 kilometers an hour. And to put that into perspective, a Golf GTI will drill this car in most instances. And so it should, given the BMW's 27 kilowatt power deficit. But the driving experience is always sparkling and the gearbox excellent, while the chassis responds to spirited driving with confidence.
The new 2 Series is one of the most attractive cars in BMW's current model lineup. It's streamlined and sporty with balanced proportions and a balanced chassis to match. However, the 220i really needs more poke to make the most of the potential that's on offer. And at 414,000 Rand before options, it's not the best car in terms of value for money. In fact, the 120i probably represents the better value proposition. But the problem is, it's not nearly as handsome. A head-turning design, responsive chassis and willing 2.0-litre turbo engine ensure that the 220i is a much more engaging drive than expected, especially in sport mode. It also has comfort, convenience and safety on its side, but the two-door layout isn't the most practical and for the money, a five-door one-series might be the better buy.